Hello, everybody. It is me, your mom, and I'm here with a quick little tutorial. A while ago, I decided to start using VitoTube Mini for my little stream pet named Jorman. You guys know I love VitoTube Mini. I used it for my PNG tuber for ages. It has a bunch of extremely useful features. And today I wanna to talk about one that's a little bit more obscure. One of the input types that you can use for the hotkeys you use in VitoTube to change expressions is MIDI. MIDI is usually used for music. Originally, I thought in order to use this MIDI input for VitoTube, I would have to purchase a MIDI board and use that. But recently I started switching my entire sort of stream extras functionality into Touch Portal. And Touch Portal has a number of really interesting plugins, one of which allows you to output MIDI signals. So today I'm gonna show you how I set up VitoTube to accept MIDI output from Touch Portal, which reacts to channel point redeems in Twitch. Let's get started. So first, let's talk a little bit about the workflow. When someone redeems a channel point in Twitch, that signal gets picked up by Touch Portal. It then calls a flow. I'll get into more detail about what each of these specific terms mean in just a minute. And that flow executes this code. This code includes some additional functionality so that expressions can interrupt each other which I'll also discuss in more detail in just a moment. What we care about now is that when it gets redeemed, when the channel point gets redeemed, touch portal event is triggered, which calls this code, which sends a MIDI signal, which is picked up by VitoTube. So let's get started in the actual tutorial and I'll talk a little bit about what you'll need. You will need to install touch portal. Touch portal is a free application that you download on your desktop that connects with an app on your phone. It can be used as a kind of stream deck alternative, but is often used for all kinds of different functionality. Uh, you know, people use it for Photoshop, for video editing, all kinds of stuff. I've purchased the in-app pro version, and that gives me access to all of Touch Portal's main functionality. If you're planning to use Touch Portal extensively, I would highly recommend this. In addition to Touch Portal, I've downloaded a MIDI plugin. This MIDI plugin is available on the Touch Portal Discord. Usually you have a physical MIDI device that is receiving or sending these MIDI signals. In order to simulate having that physical device, we're going to download an intermediate program. The one I'm using is called Loop BE1. Okay, so now Touch Portal can output MIDI signal. VitoTube is already ready to accept MIDI signal and we have loop BE1 in the middle that's connecting the two. For the basic MIDI setup, I would recommend you use a button. So in the screen, you can click somewhere on the screen and it will make a new button for you. I'm going to show you with this testing button that I've made. Inside this testing button, I have used the short MIDI message to function. If your MIDI plugin has been properly installed and set up, You'll see in the, the left-hand side here, you can scroll down and there'll be a category called MIDI. And so we have send short MIDI message, send raw short MIDI message, send note MIDI message. So I've selected the first one. When you add it, it's gonna have a couple of different options for you. The first dropdown is going to be which plugin are you sending the MIDI signal to? For us, that's gonna be loop BE internal MIDI. So that's our loop BE1 program that we just downloaded. The command we're gonna use is note on and note off. Uh, I would recommend that every time you use a note on, you immediately follow it by a note off, unless you're intending that signal to continue for a longer period of time. That's because each of these short signals sends the pressing motion, but it doesn't send the release motion. So if you imagine on your keyboard, you press the key down, it doesn't automatically let the key go. So you'll need a note on to press it down and a note off to release it. So since I already have a note on, I'm gonna set this to note off. So we have channels and we have data. We have 15 different channels that we can send signals on. We can use any of those channels that we like, but I'm gonna start with channel one 
because I only need it to be set up for a couple of things. For our data, we have all of the different musical notes on the piano that we can choose from. They each have corresponding values in numbers that we can put into this data field to decide which note is going to be produced. But like I said, we're not going to be making music with this, so I don't really care what note it makes. All I care about is that VitaTube is set up to accept each different note as a separate hotkey. For my neutral expression, the default expression, I'm going to set it to channel one, note one. And we can see that I've set the second expression to channel one, note two. In data two, we have a spectrum of how hard we're pressing the button, if that makes sense. With how much force are we pressing the button? As you can imagine, that's not terribly useful for us. So I'm going to set it to the maximum value, which is 127. Folks who know a little bit more about MIDI may find some of these settings a bit weird. And please, if you have something to add in the comments, do so, and it would be very helpful for everyone, I'm sure. Okay, so when this button is pressed, on pressed, we're going to note on in channel one, note one, and then immediately we're going to note off in channel one, note one. So we'll save this. And now we have a button that sends this key press. Next, we're gonna go into VitoTube and actually set our hotkey. Like I mentioned before, Touch Portal has two components, an app that runs on your desktop computer and an app that runs on your mobile device. So in order to use these buttons, I'm going to press them on my phone. So inside VitoTube, I'm gonna select the expression that matches with the channel and the note that I picked in Touch Portal. So for this one, channel one and note one. Then I'm going to go to set hotkey. In the set hotkey menu, you'll see waiting for keyboard, MIDI, mouse, or X input. So I'm going to press the button on my phone that corresponds with the Touch Portal button that we just made. And that will send that MIDI signal and set this expression to channel one, note one. So you can see now if I press that same touch portal button again, it switches to the first expression. Great. So now touch portal is set up and VitoTube is set up. If all you would like to do is set up buttons on your touch portal that let you switch through expressions, that's how you would do it. You can go through all of the different expressions, you can set all the hotkeys and off you go. I wanted to connect this VitoTube character up to my channel points because I won't be controlling him directly. He'll be controlled by Twitch chat. So I've used a combination of events and flows to do that. If you're a little overwhelmed by Touch Portal and you really just wanna use the buttons to be able to switch through, then this is the place to stop. But for folks who are looking for more advanced functionality, I'm going to explain how Jorman actually works in practice. Okay. So Touch Portal lets you set up buttons that need to be pressed with your finger on your mobile device. It also lets you set up events that happen in the background regardless of what happens with the buttons. So you don't have to worry about having the buttons active on your screen or anything like that. And then it lets you set up flows. Flows are like functions when you're coding. They are groups of instructions that can be called from somewhere else to be run as a combination. And then we have values that work like variables. It's a way for us to store a little bit of information so we can recall it later. So let's go through the whole workflow and I'm gonna show you how Twitch chat controls Jorman. In my values, I have one value for each of my expressions. When the expression is activated by Twitch chat, the value will be one. And when it has not been activated, the value will be zero. This lets me interrupt events as they're taking place. This is because when they switch the expression for Jorman, the functionality I want is for him to change expression, stay in that expression for a little bit, and then switch back to his default expression and wait for a new one to be activated. Because of this, 
I would end up stacking up wait expressions. He would wait for 30 seconds to switch back, then another 30 seconds every single time the redeem gets activated. So that's why I have these value, values here. These values are gonna get used by one flow for each expression. So let's have a look at the happy expression and I'll explain what each chunk is doing. Okay, so we're using a combination of logic, MIDI, and uh, utilities for this. So I'm just gonna explain basically what this does and then I'll post a screenshot of this code in my Discord uh, in case anybody would like to go and have a look at it in more detail. And a link for all that will be in the description. Set the happy Jorman uh, value to one. Happy Jorman's been activated, so set that value to one. Wait for one second. I think this can be a little bit shorter, but work with me. Send the happy Jorman signal to VitoTube. So press the button and then let go of the button. Repeat this chunk 30 times. That's because we're gonna wait 30 seconds before Jorman is automatically switched back to his original expression. Okay. Wait for one second. That's the one second wait that happens each of the iterations that go through this loop. So 30 times, we're gonna wait one second. Okay, check if any of the other expressions have been activated. If Mad Jorman has been set to one or Sad Jorman has been set to one, or scared Jorman has been set to one, or smug Jorman has been set to one, right? If any of these other redeems have been activated, set the happy Jorman value back to zero because it's no longer active. And then stop executing all the functions in the current flow. This is where the interruption is actually taking place. If any of the other redeems are activated, then we're gonna exit. Once all of these repetitions have completed without stopping, so this condition never came true, then activate the neutral Jorman expression. And that's basically that. So this flow is executed when the happy Jorman redeem is activated in Twitch. And I have the same thing set up for all of his expressions. So this runs completely in the background Every time somebody in chat redeems one of the new expressions for Jorman, he switches and I don't have to worry about it. I've put this out in a flow because I use these same expression flows in other places. So for example, if you give Jorman a cinnamon bun, then he becomes happy. <laughs> <laughs> so that is how you can activate VitoTube using MIDI coming from Touch Portal. I'm sure for someone this will be extremely handy. I know for me, when I figured it out, big brain, I thought it was the smartest thing that I'd ever done. Kudos to Sockness, that's Sockness Monster, twitch.tv slash Sockness, for actually figuring it out the first time so that I could figure it out the second time. Peace. I'll put a link to his Twitch channel in the description as well. Okay, so... If you have any questions about this, feel free to ask them in the comments. Like and subscribe is always appreciated. It encourages me to continue making these tutorials. If you want to see me make other Touch Portal tutorials on how I do other things in Twitch, please feel free to let me know in the comments and I might just do that. You can find me live on twitch.tv slash Mrs. Mothmom on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm sometimes also live just whenever, so dropping a follow never hurts. Thanks again. I hope this was helpful and have a fun time playing with Touch Portal. Bye now.